Hi, Charlie here with another video for a little bit of how-to information. Uh, this is primarily for the X-Carb, but I'm sure it would, can apply to other CNC machines as well. Today we're talking about calibrating your stepper motors. Uh, this can be particularly important to do if you're off a little bit. It'll keep your squares from being square, circles from being round, and things just won't be the way you really think they should. If you're just carving a sign with your name and address to put on the front of your house or your mailbox, it really won't matter much. But if you get into any kind of detailed work where uh, dimensions are crucial, then this can actually make, uh, play a big role. So I've got a spreadsheet I put together to help you get this done. Uh, what you're going to need is, of course, a spreadsheet or some other way to make these calculations. You're going to need a uh, ruler with the marks off in millimeters. Uh, for me, I've just got a 12-inch ruler out of a tri-square that has millimeters on it, and that'll work fine for what we need to do. If you have a little, one that's longer than 12 inches, that would be even better, but this is just what I had, and it does work. Uh, we're going to be using, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with Universal G-Code Sender. This will also work with PIC Sender, or probably just about any other uh, post-processing software that you have available to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a movement with the machine and see how far it actually travels. And then we're going to adjust the uh, steps per millimeter in the uh, software to make any corrections. So without further ado, let me reposition the camera and we'll make a movement for you. Uh, first off, what I've done on my machine, though, is I've actually intentionally put in a bad reading. Uh, Mine is typically just a little over 40, but so I put it in at 39.5 steps per millimeter so that I know it'll be wrong. But we need that to actually demonstrate how to make these corrections. So let me reposition the camera and we'll get going. Okay, here's Universal G Code Sender. I'm going to start off by clicking on the Commands tab and then I'm going to issue a dollar sign, dollar sign command. and then hit enter. Okay, this screen shows, after you've hit enter, this shows all the different settings in your Gerbil software. What we're going to be looking at and focusing on right now is this dollar sign 100 equals 39.5 uh, steps per millimeter, and this is in the x-axis. Below that at 101 is the y-axis, and 102 is the z-axis. This, this procedure I'm showing you today, you can use it for each of the axes. Okay, back on the machine control tab, still in Universal G-Code Sender. I put in 290 right here, and that is the uh, distance we're going to do a test travel. And we're using millimeters. That's important that you use millimeters. Uh, there's other soft, software uh, spreadsheets that you can use, do it in inches, but you have to convert inches to millimeters anyway, so we might as well just do this in millimeters to start with and not worry about the conversion. Anyway, once uh, we're ready to actually move the machine, I'm going to click the uh, X plus over here to make the machine look, move from left to right, and then we're going to check the ruler and see how far it actually traveled. So let me reposition the camera and then we'll check that out. Okay, as you can see right here, I've got the tip of my V-bit position right there at the very beginning of this steel ruler. That would be zero, obviously. And then we're going to, I'm going to zoom out and then we'll hit a, hit the movement to go to the right 290 millimeters. And we'll see how far it actually goes. Okay, here goes our 290 millimeter move. Now let me get zoomed in over here and show you where it actually ended up. Okay, I think you can see it here in the camera shot. Uh, it actually traveled to 286.5. Okay, here's the spreadsheet. I'm not showing you the whole sheet here. I've, I've tried to zoom in so that you can see the numbers easier. But the part we're focusing on really is just this one section right here. Uh, for test distance to move, I put in 290 because that's how far we told the 
machine to move, 290 millimeters. The actual distance traveled was 286. So I'm going to put that in right here, 286. And the current steps per millimeter is 39.5. That's the number that we got from Universal G Code Sender when we entered that dollar sign, dollar sign command and looked at the value of uh, 100. So we're 100 equals 39.5. So anyway, we're going to leave that in there, right there. And then it calculated discrepancy right here. And then right here at the bottom it says new steps per millimeter. So according to this, we should be putting our uh, steps per millimeter at 40.052. So you should write that down somewhere. 40.052. Okay, back in Universal G Code Sender. We clicked on the Commands tab. Then we're going to enter the new command to, to reset our steps per millimeter for the x-axis. So to do that, you're going to type in dollar sign 100 equals 40.052. And that's what we got from the spreadsheet. We're going to hit enter. Once you've hit enter at the bottom of your uh, console screen there, you'll see a confirmation where that command was put in and accepted with an OK. OK, we've updated Universal G Code Sender, or actually the Gerbil uh, system, with the proper steps per millimeter that we got from the spreadsheet. So I've repositioned the bit back at zero on the steel ruler and I've got it focused in so you can see where it winds up. So here we go, I'm going to send it 290 millimeters and it should be right on 29, which is 29 centimeters, 290 millimeters. And looks like it's there. So that's how you do it. Okay, that's how you uh, calibrate your stepper motors for the X and the Y axis. I only did the X axis, but it's exactly the same procedure for the Y, you just go in a different direction. The Z axis is a little different. Uh, you'll probably need uh, a dial indicator or something. I've got, I've got a dial indicator right over here in my box. Here we go. Like this, and you would actually connect this portion into the uh, router and then as you go up and down on it, it, it actually reads travel. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive. I think you can get this at Harbor Freight for about $15. Uh, of course, if you really want to get fancy, you can spend more than that, but hey, I think it's good enough. <laughs> so anyway, uh, some of you may think this is kind of trivial doing this much of a fine adjustment on the machine but hey you know it's it can be as uh, adjusted as detailed as you like or it can be sloppy it's up to you so anyway that's it for this episode of me trying to do something cool <laughs> don't forget to do the like comment subscribe thing I always say that because everybody else does it really doesn't matter <laughs> not to me anyway hopefully this helps somebody out though if you have any questions, you can always get a hold of me on the Inventables forum or leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.